Okay, so today we'll have a walkthrough on how to create a simple bootstrap web page. So first, let's check our folders. So I have free drive C, XAMP. So I have installed XAMP and we have here HD docs. So this is the folder where you place your files. Now inside this folder, I created a, another folder named web dev. So this is web dev. And I have already included here some of the files that I will be using for my web page. So this of course includes uh, the bootstrap files and the jQuery files. I also have here my template but first I'm going to create another folder here so right click let right click rather the new folder so let's say I will call this as my test folder and then I'm going to copy the template inside my test folder so copy and paste so let's say I'll be renaming this as index.html so that is now my file so let us now edit this file so here's our template so these are the files that I have included so I have the bootstrap CSS so this is actually the cascading style sheet for the bootstrap you have the jQuery file a popper file but I will not be using this for the moment then the bootstrap JavaScript and then uh, my styles but we will not be using this also for the moment so this is just our template and then here we have script slash script where we're going to place our jquery uh, scripts later and then we have here body slash body so we'll be placing our code or bootstrap code inside body slash body so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a web page with the jumbotron and with below the jumbotron will be three columns so first I'm going to create my jumbotron so I have here div slash div this is where I'm going to place my jumbotron and then below so later we'll be doing what's below our jumbotron so here the class equals Jumbotron, so that's a class, a bootstrap class. So, assuming also that I want to place text inside my Jumbotron and the text will be centered, that's why I'm going to place another class, text center. So, that will be my Jumbotron. And inside my Jumbotron will be a header heading, so h1, for example. Uh, example bootstrap page slash h1 and another maybe a paragraph another element inside my jumbotron slash p so that means I have two elements inside my Jumbotron. And these are a one heading, each one and another paragraph. So I can see this one. Oh, I think there's something wrong with my file name. So let us save this again. Save as index.html. So that will be my file name 
So how will I open this file? First, I have to make sure that my web server is running. Although, of course, I can just double click this, but let's try to make use of our web server. So I'm going to open my web server. So Apache, I may open or I may or may not open my SQL because I don't have a database yet. So Apache will be fine. And then how do we open this? So remember, we are using a web server. So to open the file, we're going to use localhost, which is the web server slash and then my folder which is web dev slash and then uh, what folder did we use test so folder so we have here test and then we already already have the index that html so that will be fine so by default if you want uh, you don't specify the file name of the web page it will open index.html so let's press enter key so what we have here now is our jumbotron so let's continue with our web page so below the jumbotron will be maybe another container so div slash div then let's say it's a container class equals container and inside the container will be three columns so how do we create three columns we have div class equals row slash div and for a single row we have three columns again in bootstrap a grid in bootstrap uh, we can have 12 columns and since we're going to use only three columns we can divide uh, 12 by 3 so that's equivalent to 4 so that will be the size of each column so I'm going to place here the class equals call SM4 that means um, a measure of 4 slash div so again there can be 12 columns or a measurement of 12 for each row so um, I can copy that paste and then paste so I have here now so if you're going to compute for the total that would that should be 12 and then I'm going to place here maybe some sort of a heading so h1 example um, let's say courses so h1 paragraph the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog slash p so let's say the second column almost the same we also have h1 programs slash h1 and another paragraph and then on the third column the same So what we have here, so let's check. We have here a container, and inside the container we have three columns with a measurement of four. 
So the columns we should be placed inside the row, and inside the row we have the three columns, and each measures four. Again, the total, if you're going to get a total for this, it should be 12. And inside each column, we have a heading and a paragraph. So all of this is placed below the Jumbotron. So if you're going to save, save this file and check our browser and refresh. So that's it. We have here now the three columns. So we have example bootstrap page and then we have three the three columns courses programs and about so that is an example of a basic uh, bootstrap web page and in the next video we'll be trying to modify this web page by placing images changing colors etc so that's all for this part thank you